Bowman here at BW1.com, giving you a quick walkthrough on how to drag and drop files and add MP3 ringtones to your XV6800 smartphone. Now I know this sounds like very simple and it's going to be simple for most advanced users, but I have had some new users to Windows mobile devices and to smartphone devices kind of ask me this question, so get them a quick tutorial to hopefully help them out. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your phone's plugged into your computer. I have that already set up. Next thing you want to do is you want to go into your start menu. You want to click on computer or my computer for uh, Windows XP users. And that comes up. You can scroll down here to the bottom where it says portable devices. Double click on that. And you're now you're into your smartphone. So there's two sides of storage to your smartphone. One side is the local storage on the device itself. That's what this slash is here for. And if you bought an extra storage card to put in your device, it'll show up here too. So let's start out with the storage card. Double click the storage card. You can add anything you want to it. You can also, in some programs within Windows uh, Mobile, they can also cache to the, um, to the card itself to save space on the main card and to access files a little bit quicker. But, the simplest part is just dragging and dropping. You can drop anything from Word docs, PowerPoint docs, anything you need. It's just like a regular storage de storage device. It'd be almost like a USB drive. So to do that, all you need to do, we we'll use this as an example. This folder of classes has got some of my OneNote notes from a class I took a little while ago. And you just drag it right over and you drop it. This little pre pre progression bar will come up. And there you go. And you can access all the classes, all the notes, anything you want in, in there. And if you don't want that no longer on your device, you just right click it, click delete, and you, if you're sure you want to permanently remove all the classes and all of its contents. Now this doesn't remove it from your computer, it just removes it from the storage card on the device. You click that, and it's all gone. So that's pretty simple right there. Most users didn't know how to do that, now you know. Next thing is how to get MP3 ringtones on it. So that's a little bit different. So you want to go here into the local storage, which is just this slash right here, and you want to go into your My Documents. Now, any anytime you drop a music file into your My Documents section on your phone, it will show up as a ringtone. But to keep things simple, I created a folder called My Ringtones. So I have three of them in there now. I'm going to add a couple more in just a second here, just to show you how it works. And it works very similar to the way you use your uh, drag and drop, what I showed you earlier, it's drag and drop files in there. Some of these, these here I have pre-cut already so that the, they're about the size of a ringtone, but you can use a regular MP3 if you want to as well. So you just drag and drop there, and you're all set. So now I'm going to show you the final result after you drag those over into your My Documents folder. Okay. Now that we have the MP3 ringtones on our device, let's play them and set them. So you need to go to Start and Settings. And in two part, there's two parts to where you can actually set the ringtone. If you hit the phone application button here at the top, this will set the ringtone for the phone, just the phone in general. But if you want to have a little bit more options, you want to go into Sounds and Notifications. So you click that button. Then here at the bottom, you click the Notifications tab. This will allow you to choose from different events from incoming called active sync all the way to MMS messages to SMS messages, whatever you want. Then you have the ring type, which you can change from vibrate, increasing ring, vibrate and ring, vibrate then ring, whatever you want. Then hit, hit ring tone. When you hit this little arrow here at the bottom, the drop down menu shows up. And all the ringtones that we dragged over into the My Ringtones folder should show up right here. So let's give it a test. And just click play. Some of these ringtones are a little old. I haven't had a chance to update them and create some new ones. We'll play a couple more here. This is one for my friend who's on broadcast who makes pretty much all the, the, the beats that I use for these reviews. This is one of his freestyles. I use that as a ring for a ringtone for him, or I use his uh, 
to people who are And one I use for specifically for text messaging, which I find kind of cool. It's an old one from Paul Wall, but it was kind of cool though. And everybody's favorite ringtone so far, which everybody thinks is kind of funny, is this right here. And on that note, and on that note, <laughs> this is Bowman showing you how to drag and drop files on the XV6800 and show you how to put MP3 ringtones and set them up on your phone. This is Bowman from BW1.com.